um, from Traveler. Um, I also would like to welcome Pastor Moore's wife, Father, that's in the back. Mm -hmm. right. How you doing? Mm -hmm. I, and stuff, so we can see it. <laughs> I also would like to welcome back those who traveled mm -hmm. over the East holidays. We had missed you. We had kept you in prayer. And definitely uh, excited to see you back here again. Um, I also would like to welcome those who were here Sabbath on. It's, all, it's an always a pleasure to be here this evening. I think um, today was a beautiful day. I, mm -hmm. I actually had a uh, reasonably wonderful day. God has been good. Mm -hmm. He kept me and He bring me here that we can worship Him together. But it's prayer time. Um, I firmly believe that we ought to always be praying for one another constantly. I have a text I would like to read. Uh, is James 5 and 16 said, confess your fault one to another yes. and pray for one mm -hmm. that he may be healed. Mm -hmm. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous mind availeth much. Mm -hmm. Do we confess our sins to one another? You know, maybe if we do that on a regular and one to another, we would see our uh, prayer working for one another. But people we see daily, we don't know, sometimes they are going through some trials and some tribulations, and sometimes <coughs> they are overwhelmed, mm -hmm. and they need a prayer, even though you constantly pray. And they've assembled in your sanctuary. <clears throat> There's nothing that we can say to you that you don't already know. Mm -hmm. But we've taken the time anyway to lift up some names to you. Yes. I ask even now that you'll go by their bedsides. We pray, God. Where comfort is needed. Yes. And you will heal where you see fit to heal. Amen. But in the end, O oh Father, help us to remember that your word is always sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And your word says that all things work together for good to them that love you. Oh, yes. Amen. So help us to strengthen our love for you. Yes. yes. Help us never ever to let a day go by without acknowledging our love for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I pray in a very special way that you will bless this church that you have put here as a beacon of hope and light in this community. We yes. pray, God. Bless it in a very special way so that men and women pass by, they may find a center that they may come to for a prayer, for a word of encouragement, yes. or just for a meal. Bless them, O Lord, and help them to be a light in this community. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be with the members, those who travel from far to come here, and those who travel from near to come here. Yes. Let them never get weary, yes. because you say that we ought to assemble together as your people. Yes. yes. Bless the leadership in your pastor. Yes. Give him the wisdom and courage that he needs to lead this flock. Yes. And teach and help him to be a shepherd to your people. Oh yes. Bless this meeting. Even though we're a few number, but bless us in a very special way. And may when we leave here. We're in a better position than what we came. Yes. yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, in, so good to see you. And if it were not for you, we might as well close the doors. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're happy each time that you come and we can all fellowship and benefit and learn from each other uh, in these sessions. Right, and we can encourage and strengthen each other. Now, believe it or not, okay, I saw a gentleman before we started that I haven't seen in quite a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, when he was here in the Bahamas, he was very much involved in pathfinders and youth ministry, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a teacher. Uh, I speak of uh, Elder Crichton, mm -hmm. welcome to the Providence. Amen. It's good to see you. All right. And, and believe it or not, this evening we are on lesson number 27 mm. of the 28 okay. Fundamental Beliefs. Okay. And uh, 
the person that will lead us this evening is none other than our pastor, Amen. Pastor Averico Moss. Amen. Okay, so we're happy this evening and we can look forward to uh, further insights from the Word of God Yes. this evening. And so without any further ado, I invite Pastor Moss to come up and lead us in this evening. Amen. Life. We ask that the Holy Spirit will be with us as we go through the study. May we draw closer to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, that's Ella Donny hands out and uh, Sister Higgs hands out the, um, the topic. I don't want you to read it too quickly. I don't want you to read it too quickly. Let's see what we know before we even look at the paper. Millennium. One thousand years. All right, one thousand years. Do we find that word in the Bible? No. 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 But we, we find the concept in terms of the what? The one thousand years. The one thousand years. All right. And Revelation chapter twenty verses nineteen covers that spot. The thousand years during which Satan will be bound on the earth and Christ will reign with his saints in heaven. So, my question now goes to this. Don't, uh, don't read. I don't want anybody to read. I want all eyes to look up at me, if possible. All eyes on me. I want to ask a question. As Adventists, are we pre-millennialist or post-millennialist? Okay, those who say pre, show sure, hands. Huh? Only two. I yes, I hear more than two people speak out. <laughs> Are we pre-millennialists? Can we see hearts? We can find it tonight. Don't worry. Pre. Define it. You gotta hold your hand up like a show. All right. Define it. Define it. <laughs> <laughs> we get down the money. All right. All of those who say we are post-millennialists, can you see your hearts? So we have some. In the body of decisions. <laughs> Not sure. All right. Mm. So why are we pre-millennialists? But if we look forward to it, but it, 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 it comes after what? Christ comes. Christ after comes. After Christ what? Comes to the earth. It comes after his second coming. Mm -hmm. Now, post millennialists believe. What, what, what do you think they believe? That he's gonna come, gonna have a second chance. It actually comes before the second coming. <laughs> So in other words, these people believe that there will come a time of peace where everything is okay and I'll get a chance to say, Lord, I accept you now before he comes. Mm -hmm. So we are all on the same page. Okay. So we have two types of millennials. We have what? The pre and the post. And we have what? Post millennials. Now, within the group of pre millennialists, oh, get a little tongue tied. Mm -hmm. We have two groups. We have two groups of individuals in this premillennialist. Now, the first, what do you think that first group believes in terms of the second coming? Save and huh? Save. Save. save and unsave. Okay, okay, we, we going to where you guys mm -hmm. save and unsave. Now, how do you think they have the concept in terms of how we will be saved? There's a particular R word that we Right. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sister, Ms. Roy, you was about to say. I was about to say, um, you were asking, within that pre-millennium, mm -hmm. there are two beliefs. Two, Yeah, two beliefs. And I was going to say, I'm not sure if this is right. Go ahead, this But I was going to say, those who die what? Before, be caught up. Be caught yeah. up in the air. Yeah. Now, there's another group in that same category. I have a heart. Close, close, close. But it, it, it comes right in line because it's the same group of people who believe that when you die, you go to heaven right there and then. 
but they also believe in that R word. Eladoni said it. The what? Rapture. Where do we? Where where do we? Where do they actually find that in in in, in scripture in terms of the their their finding for the rapture in scripture? Two will be in the go, field. Go ahead. No, Matthew 24, Matthew 24. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, let's say, for example, I'm not an Adventist, I'm on the road and I'm reading my Bible, and someone tell me that, you know, rapture coming, you know. I ask them, what you talking about with me or rapture? Yeah, man, read your Bible. Matthew chapter 24, verse 40. And it goes and it says, one will be taken. So, basically, uh, like Jesus says in Matthew chapter, I think it's chapter 16, verse mm -hmm. 24. He says, if any man will come after me, let him take up his cross and follow me. Right? So in other words, it's, yes, we all need to accept him. Mm -hmm. But we also have to let him transform us. We have to live and do the things that he would have us to do. Right? It's not my will, but his will be okay. I'll give you Go ahead, man. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Mm. Right? Romans chapter 12 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren.